We are here to pull some shards. We've been on a pretty decent break, around a month or so. So, Clarium, you owe us. You owe me. I mean, you owe everybody, but you owe me specifically. We're here for the extra legendary event. We are going to be pulling some shards and see what Raid Shadow Legends has in store for us today. This might not be, I'm actually curious to know, this might not be a popular opinion among all of the players, but I think this event's good. I'm not really sure how people are gonna take that, but I do think this event's good. My reasoning is two times events, you can hit pity. With this event, you're guaranteed the, the two legendaries and it's a random one. I guess guaranteed events can be nice, but there's this certain pressure to not pull if you already have the champion. You don't want to duplicate for either your guardians or to empower the champion itself. So maybe you guys can weigh in on what you feel about that. But I do think this is kind of a no-brainer for most players. It's much better, of course, if you're decently into pity. If you just pull the legendary, it's not going to be as good. As we can see, I have 219 shards. I think I pulled about 40 or 50 prior to this event here. And listen... We have 23 minutes, six, five, four. That's how long we have left of this entire event. Now, this is some hidden tech, ready? If you pull really close to an event, almost ending, and you know there are certain champions you need on your account, it doesn't matter at all, because you're probably going to get screwed either way. So without further ado, let's <laughs> dive straight into it and pray. I'm gonna try to stop as soon as I pull a legendary, is my self-control going to let me? Because, listen, I'm just going to pause it one more time in between this. I saw this. <laughs> Summon Rush, 23 hours and 22 minutes. I don't even want to say, why do they do this? Because I know why they do this, but it just gets you thinking, right? You pull all these shards for this extra legendary, and then you have an event less than 24 hours later that has to do with pulling shards again. So, wh wh what do you guys think, Plarium? You think we're just made of shards? All right, so we've gotten nothing good so far. I could use a Geomancer, another one for this account. So that would be nice, but I'm not gonna get my hopes up too high. Somehow I haven't pulled duplicate Geomancers. Out of all of the shards I've pulled, I didn't even know this until someone brought it up to me that was playing my account. I don't have two. And I've pulled thousands, tens of thousands of ancient shards. Conspiracy, possibly. Wait, our account seeded. It's, it's a possibility. I'm all in. I wasn't in until I noticed that I never got a second Geomancer, which is weird. It really is. Okay, Theresk. Maybe I have them, maybe I don't. Looks new, but haven't been as active in pulling shards as of late. Pitiless one, who cares? You know what? I'm not gonna watch this animation. I've been doing this for way too long to get excited. Okay, so we got that. Surely the legendary is coming up soon so I can save some shards for whatever the rewards are going to be for this summoning tournament. Now, I'm actually curious. You guys can let me know what you think if you've ever seen this, but what happens if you pull a legendary on the last one? Will it let you do that? Will the game let you do that? Or does it just code them randomly? That's a good question, is it not? How does the, it appear on the screen? Is it going to like go to the right of where Prosecutor is? I don't know if I've ever seen that. I haven't really watched people pulling for extra legendaries. I know all of my extra legendaries have been kind of back to back in the mid. Okay, so I just got my answer. And I don't, I do not know who this guy is. So, I mean, is it a fusion that I missed? Perhaps. So I just answered my question. Everything gets shifted over like that. Okay. There are any dead allies places to shield buff and not allies for three turns. Equal to 30% of this champion's max health. Ba -ba. Increase crit damage and ally attack. Inflicts 20% more damage to targets under shield buff. So, I mean, maybe he's good. He looks weird. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, his art looks cool. This is kind of like Kale, right? Kale looks really cool. And then you kind of see him and uh, not so much, but... This looks like a ninja face type of ordeal here. So not the greatest, definitely not what I wanted, Deliana and Lana Tharo, but it is what it is. So we did get the value here. Am I going to keep pulling now that I'm here? Absolutely. Because if I don't get a legendary, what am I doing? I'm setting myself up for whatever the next event's going to be. This is kind of what I mean. K looks 
pretty badass from this picture but once you get the champion itself yikes all right so we're looking for geomancer slash another useful legendary that i'm probably gonna get yelled at for pulling not during a two times event but like i said we're pulling to kind of build up our pity copium by the way and uh be set up for whatever event does come next will i be pretty upset if the summoning event has decent rewards that i can't hit because i am pulling now no not really i won't be at least but let's see what we get no geomancer world guard i've gotten a thousand of them seated account by the way okay bunch of rares i get it jingle hunter every time i see jingle hunter i cannot help but think about that sir nicholas event where the second place that didn't win sir nicholas got jingle hunter imagine ugh, just the defeat in somebody for trying that hard during champion training the most mind numbing activity i can think about in raid like hands down and they get that stupid epic they could have made anything else i'm not gonna pull nine more shards one by one but we did it we got our bonus they weren't champion i mean i get listen new is new surely right where is he i don't even know what faction he was is he high elf yes yeah, so, okay so he was new Deliana was not new, pretty sure. Wasn't she like a login reward? Yeah, she couldn't have been new. I must have just not clicked on her ever. Wonder why. Anyways, we got somebody new. New is good. I'm not really a codex collector anymore. I was definitely more into that until they started releasing champions. What, like every other month? Way too hard to keep up with. I'd be curious to know if anyone has a complete champion roster i don't think so that would be insane luck and spending for sure if they have their index full but that's gonna conclude this video so what did you guys pull did you guys get anything good here obviously it was a joke before about saying if you pulled the shards most of you know that already at the end of the event you're not gonna get something better as you can clearly see here but did any of you get something really good i could have used can you get dupes can you get duplicates? That's another good question. I've never seen it. I would assume you can. Unless, I mean, listen, Playroom's done crazier things with the coding before. As far as you get a champion, you get one extra champion that, and they take out the original champion from the code. Maybe. I don't know the answer to that. Maybe someone does that looks, or if anyone has ever pulled a duplicate from an extra legendary event, that would be pretty cool to know, but if you can, I would have liked two Hefrax. That would have been nice. Uh, a Cupidus would have been fantastic, but that is all in the past now. So what do we do? We're just saving our Sacreds. Only have three Void Shards. We have 11 for whatever event comes next. I don't know what the next two times is. I haven't been paying attention. Could have been... No, I'm not even going to guess because there's a set schedule of every two weeks, but we will see when we get there and see if we have shards to pull, see if we can get something cool. Pretty much those champions that we did talk about here, because that's pretty much all I'm after. Any plus four additions to this, of course, Baron being stupidly good now would have been nice. I failed on the 10 times Baron, Hefrak, like I said. And I believe I briefly mentioned Cupidus. I do need one more Cupidus. Another Kaimar would be nice. Don't really need Septimus, even though he is plus three. Two more Duchess, please. Two more Mortu Macabre, please. Ursuga, OP champion, really strong. And then the rest, it is what it is. Leorius, of course, would be nice. Since I only have one of him, but I'm not... Okay, so I do have Deliana here, as I thought. So she is built, all is good with her. So without ranting too long, kind of just checking in on my account in front of you guys, I haven't done in quite some time. So that's gonna conclude this video. If you enjoyed this content, smash that like button, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, and I will see you all in my next upload.